Yummy. Uh, uh, what's that say? Train station. 400 meters. Uh, yeah. Ah, leave me alone, mate. Too far to walk. Can't take any more. Uh, oh. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to brew your own alcohol from extra trees. Now that is just, yes, it is danger written all over it. So let's get stuck into it. So the ones I'm going to be showing you how to make is apple brandy and whiskey. Inside this chest is, well, the yeast you're going to need to make alcohol to make the normal yeast is bread just like so and three mushrooms and just to make the large yeast it's just chucking the bread on the top so if we grab all these wicked ingredients out so first if we start with the apple brandy first what you're going to want to find is some apples just like so as I placed in here now if we switch this baby on, as you can see, turn that to insert and off it goes. There you go. This is going to need power as well. Most of these machines are. As you can see that chunks away and is sending it straight into the brewer. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place your yeast one in there and now as it goes like that, that it's telling you now it's working and you're going to need to play the yeast just like a carpenter in the bottom and you see the apple juice pop up there and it is going to turn it into the next stage the next stage will be going to the distiller so I'll be back when that's ready okay and we're back and as you can see we're in the distiller it has made the cool stuff cider and it is now distilling and once that is done we will have our wicked drink that we want just be warning guys these two machines the brewer and distiller they are quite slow and as far as I know that is not an upgrade for these machines so when that is done Okay, any minute now. Oh, yep, more cider coming in. That's just what we need. So, yeah. Basically, this machine is going to give you, when it's ready, a really cool cider, which I reckon quite a lot of people would like. Any sec now and here we go yes we have apple brandy and that's cool so now if I show you how to make the whiskey as well what you're going to need is you're going to need roasted grain from extra trees and yeast again so if we grab the yeast out and grab a pack of these out go into here place that like so place all these in all three slots and then chuck that in the bottom and next we're going to want to this is going to need water this time so if we let that chug along and do its thing we can get started in a second so it looks like it's chugged along and done its thing now so as you can see the roasted grains and the yeast will turn into fermented grain mash and looks like this but guys almost ready and this baby is going to give you whiskey which I reckon is really cool who doesn't like whiskey man come on whiskey is really cool when you want to get drunk 
yeah, there's whiskey. There you go. And if you wanted to, you can output it to a tank and you can go off and do whatever you want with it. But just as an example, you could take this one step further with this apple brandy. You could get a bottler and next we can chuck the bottles in and after that and then give it some power and next we can chuck this in turning this in and there you go you have apple brandy bottles sweet as and just to show this alcohol system from Extra Trees is amazing. I've got some more examples here. I've got some oranges that are being crushed into orange juice with the fruit press, then into the brewer. It just has the yeast again from the orange juice. And you have citrus wine if you just want citrus wine, or you can go a step further and put it in the distillery and turn the citrus wine all the way into citrus brandy if you're a brandy lover if you don't want that you can use with this one for the brewer you can use barley grain and yeast and chuck it in the distillery and from fermented grain mash it will give you whiskey again And this one here is using large yeast this time and wheat grain that turns it into fermented wheat mash it pretty much does that the most and turns it into wheat whiskey and if you want to go a step even further you can distiller whiskey again chuck it in another distiller and it turns it into vodka. Now it's party time. Yeah. Wicked. Woo. Give me some. So, I reckon that's really cool that Extra Trees has allowed you to make alcohol and so many different types. That is fantastic. And, oh, what's here? Hmm. Alcohol for diamonds. Hmm. Okay. So, what we are going to need is our alcohol. Let's say if we place one alcohol in here, what are we going to get? I wonder... Where it comes... Oh yeah, we got diamond! That is sweet. You guys could do something fantastic with this, especially at your own house, even. You could start up a black market or get people to give you heaps of cool resources for alcohol. How cool is that? That is excellent. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And just one last note. The brandy needs the fruit press, the brewer, and the distiller. If you're making the whiskey type, you only need the brewer and the distiller. And when you're making the whiskey, you will need water. So, yes. And don't forget about the vodka. You need to distill whiskey again. So, hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. Until next time, thank you.